Hello, Twin Minds here. Welcome back to Alchemist Simulator. I am very proud to say that we are still the third best deputy of the month. I'm helping. Let's see where else we can help. Uh, this person just needs some luck. Alright, we can do that. Professor Peterson. I have been having a series of unfortunate losses lately, and I may be facing certain financial complications if my luck doesn't change in the nearest future. A friend has told me that you, are, as a professional alchemist, can help me with this issue. It turns out that alchemists can make a luck potion. This might very well be my final chance. Please send me the luckiest of your luck potions. Fair warning, sir. It's not great. It's not great indeed. Alright, more, more diamonds. The parsley is just getting all the usage here. Alright, uh, we need to up you twice. We need another one. And then the last bit was my chaos fish, yes. Alright, there's my chaos fish into the pot. Alright, Professor, good luck to you, sir. I seriously doubt that a simple luck potion could help a fellow like that. They only work for a short amount of time and are followed by a tale of unlucky events to even things out. Or else how could any gambling establishment work if anyone could just buy a luck potion and come up clean the place up? I've warned the poor fellow, but I'm afraid he will not listen. Yep, good luck to him. Alright. Plant growth. Plant growth potion sounds good. This potion increases the speed at which a living being grows, used when working with alchemical plants. Not cost-effective in normal gardening. Be, in, be mindful that you can't use it to speed up the growth of plants that are more than three-quarters magical or ethereal. Good to know. Good to know indeed. Alright, what do we need? We need plant growth, we need a sword, and then we need... Stompy. Alright, so let's just cut off the light. Get our sword. Uh, plant. So we've got parsley and vine. Let's do a vine because I'm very slim on parsley. Uh, and then I need to cut off the order chaos. Probably use a vine for that as well. And that gravity just needs to be dried down to ground. There we are. Into the pot with you. And there is our lovely plant growth potion. It's very pretty. Squee. Squee indeed. There you are, madam. It would be nice to have a garden here, wouldn't it? We could be much more efficient if we did. Agreed. How do we start that? We have a spare room. Nothing still going on in here. This is fine. We'll do that. All right. Uh, time. Plenty of time. Freezing apple. Dear grandson, this will probably be the final, final letter I send you from my journey. I am in New York. It is a magnificent city. It is actually the largest city in the States, as their emperor has told me. Oh, by the way, I sadly have to tell you that Mr. Norton has passed away. The potion you have sent has arrived too late. I see now why so many Americans dislike postal office workers. I was honored to witness his funeral. It was a breathtaking spectacle. More than a 10,000 people have come to pay their respects. Anyways, I need your help one more time. Please send me the cold resistance potion. It is snowing like crazy here and I'm a little unprepared for that. Sure thing. Sure thing. I don't happen to have one of those, do I? No. Okay. Cold resistance. Nope, not heat resistance. Cold resistance. Healing snake and two warmth bacons. We can do that. Healing snake. Actually, we can just do this out of coal. Sure, why not? Healing snake, we cut off the fire. And throw that in the pot. Now, warmth bacon can come from there, but we can also... Uh, can I dry this one? No. Okay. Never mind. 
Probably just going to dump that in the trash if I can't use it for anything. Uh, and then warmth bacon can also come from cocoons, but I have plenty of coal, so we'll just do that. Cut off the life death, and then dry it once. I don't know how you dry coal, but whatever. It's fine. Alright, second bacon into the pot. And here's cold resistance for uh, Uncle Gramps. Hope your grandpa does not stay in New York for too long. Rent there can easily bankrupt us. Anyways, you have reached another milestone. You are now ready to wield the most dangerous of our workstations, the juicer. It removes essences of all branches except the selected one. For example, if you run it with the heat cold chain selected, and you put an ingredient with cold, growth, and ground aspects, you will get only cold left. Go and check it out. Well, that's just friggin' handy. That's definitely handy. The juicer. What a machine you are. What a lovely, lovely, creepy machine you are. So, we just cycle it around, pick what we want to keep, throw it into the juicer, I guess, and then out it comes over there, I'm sure. That tells me that I can now use uh, ginger very easily. I can actually use the rest of them very easily. I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and take a nap and then we'll use it. Also, I did end up getting the achievement. Um, so the world is round, which is uh, for completing the main quest line. So Uncle Grandpa is finished with his world tour. Apparently he's just going to chill in New York for a little while. Alright, uh, Carambola, sure, why not? Fuga, no. Okay. Uh, I will buy a few more parsley, though, because I'm running slim. Get those sending off while I look at the next mission. Command Creature. Sure, we'll do a Command Creature potion. A simple potion for simple animals and people. Nothing that an experienced alchemist may encounter, but somehow a very popular order among politicians. You better learn to make these efficiently, as it can be rather lucrative. Good to know. Uh, spider, chaos, and corruption. Wow, that's a that's a heavy duty potion. So, spider, which is one tier from max of that. Okay. Uh, chaos, fish, easy, corruption. Could do with a fugu. Hmm. I think there's cheaper ways to get that. Uh, so let's start off with the chaos fish. Yeah, that's easy. Just cut off the cold. And then increase the potency by one. That's easy. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have a spare bug since I ordered a few too many, so we can cut off the order of chaos and then dry it twice and then increase its potency, I believe. And you can go in here. Then I need poison. Uh, I can definitely get that from the Fugu. I can also get that from the blue cap, where I just need to dry it once and then double increase it. So let's do that. You need to dry again. All right, so you're currently poison. I need to double increase you to Bane. And there's our spider. This doesn't feel like this would be a lucrative potion. Just because of the expensive ingredients going into it. And then we double increase you to corruption. And that's, that's that. There's our command creature potion. All right, well, sure. Let's turn that in. Is he really giving us good advice or has the professor developed political ambitions? You do know that this potion also allows controlling not very smart people. Hmm, shady. Uh, regen potion, sure, let's do that too. 
Increases the rate at which a person regenerates. Make sure to provide abundant nutrition for anyone taking this potion. Fair enough. Sounds simple. Um, healing herbs and herbs. All right. Uh, so healing we'll just do with this. Yeah. Well, fine. We'll sharpen. All right, and then you just need to increase by one for the healing. I wonder if I could have just done with this with the healing herb. No, forgot. The healing herb is not herbal in nature. All right, so I need two plants. Uh, obviously parsley and vines. I could also do it with the red berry, but that's also expensive. Could do it anyway. Just gotta cut off the fire and then it's ready to go. Sure, why not? We'll do a red berry. Cut off the fire. This is actually the first time I've touched a red berry. Because it happens to be the right level anyway of the greenery. Perfect. And then we'll just use a parsley, because why not? Uh, purity, right. Not often I cut off purity off of the parsley for its greenery effect. Alright, here's our regen potion. I've heard a story that one wounded soldier has used a regeneration potion, but then starved to death simply because he didn't have enough food available. Oh, that does sound hazardous. Hazardous indeed. Alright, one more mission available today. An unlucky turn. Oh. Professor Peterson again. Oh, if only I have listened to your friend and left earlier. The potion duration might have been enough for me to get home, but I couldn't just leave when a, the card table was so hot. I just needed to play one more hand. As a result, I was robbed and beaten senseless right after leaving the casino, and I don't even have enough money for the doctor. I only have enough left for a single healing potion. Hopefully, it will be enough to at least ease the pain a little bit. We warned you, man. We warned you. Healing potion we can do. And I need light again. More parsley. Always more parsley. Right. Up that by one. I wonder if there's a way to do a healing herb for a single healing potion. Is that possible? It doesn't look like it. Because if you increase the strength of it, you end up with the heart and the, stu and the sun, but you end up with an extra heal. You'd think that that would be a good thing. Extra healing for the healing potion. But no, apparently not. Right, there's our sun for the healing potion. Here we are. Poor fellow, if only he had listened to me. Indeed. Indeed. Alright, I think that should cover it for today. A little bit of a little bit of a shorter one, but I think this is a good place to stop for the moment. We're dealing with Professor, he's he's not doing too great. He's not doing too great, but we learned quite a few new potions, so that's good. Alright, that'll be it for today. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.